Where are we going? Fiji. We got up this morning at 5 30. What's the time now? 7.14 up oh. there. And our flight leaves at quarter to 10. And it's a three hour flight to Fiji. So let's go to Fiji. Okay, what's she watching? Emma Stevens looks. We're at the gate. Say she you excited. I'm excited. There's like heaps of school kids on our flight. Like heaps of school kids. Like how many school kids would you say would be over there? Like 30, 40? Million. million? 30, 40 million. <laughs> What's up? Right, story time for the vlog. What did we forget, Sage? Straightener. She thought I was bringing mine. I thought she was bringing hers. And we had the same one. So we, we agreed we wouldn't bring two. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't even bring one. So enjoy the straight hair, guys, because it's not going to last very long. My hair doesn't last straight, though, in Fiji because of the, the humidity. The humidity just goes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to braid mine down for the next 12 days. Oh boy. Welcome aboard, Emma. Mine doesn't have that. This is cool lighting. <laughs> Wait, why does it all say safe? I don't know. Yeah, I know. Because you're Australian. <laughs> So the plan is we are going to Fiji and then when we Hello. land at about quarter to one then we have to get on a connecting flight to an island where we haven't been before. <laughs> cool. So yeah, it's like a little seaplane. I'm kind of nervous about it to be fair. now walking from the international to the domestic airport so basically this building to that one behind Matt's head so yeah and then we get on the I don't know how this works we get on the seaplane and then go to the island I think it's like a 20 minute ish flight and then we'll be on the island where we are for five days and <laughs> smells like petrol made it to the island. I don't actually know the name of the island. It's in the Yasawa group. 30 minute flight out from Nandi Airport. But <laughs> there's literally a hammock outside our room. So we're staying in a little like two bedroom, one bathroom little villa. And the beach is right behind me. And there's like a couple of beach chairs. Now I'm sorry about my toes, but there's two more beach lounges and like a thing over there. And that's like our room. This is insane i've only ever stayed in denarau and at the shangri-la so this is like a whole new experience yeah this is exciting so we're here for five nights and then moving on to denarau time for a room tour <laughs> welcome let's go <laughs> Can you read it? No, you can't really read what that says. Mm, you kind of can. <laughs> Here we have the kitchen, TV, bed, lounge. Greg, Matthew's having a nap already. But this is like the main living area. And then come on through this way, my friends. What would you even call this room? The in between. The in between. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with that. So it's like a wardrobe and stuff and like a full length mirror. And this is for like hours of the day. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom and this is insanely cool. So we have like double basin. This is this is this is this is the shower outside. Wait, I don't think you yeah, can you tell this is there's no room. She's fully exposed. <laughs> and then yeah, this is that. That, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's 
So this is the second bedroom. And this is where all the little kiddos will be sleeping. Mm -hmm. So we have a bed for Matt and Sage. I don't know who And then I have to claim this one. And yeah. That's that. That is that. So now you guys know when I vlog in this room, you guys know what's happening. <laughs> so we are off now for a swim because the lagoon is like literally right at our doorstep, which is insanely cool. But I'll show you guys my swimmers. They are just these Topanga ones. Yes, I'm coming. I'm just updating the vlog. But we get a towel. But yeah, we're just gonna go for a quick dip. I don't even know what the time is. We're on Fiji time here now already. So yeah, I will see you guys when we get back from the swim. I've got my hair tied up because I'm trying to keep it straight for as long as possible because once the humidity gets to it, I'm gonna, it's gonna be out here, so. Back from the pool and I'm snacking on some crackers. I need to find out what the time is. All right, 4.57, it's nearly five o'clock. And there's this cat. Oh my gosh, is it gonna jump? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, Wednesday next week. Right. I'm scared of cats. What should we call him? I was thinking that, what should we call him? I'm going to go sit in the hammock again. This is not very easy to get into, oh my goodness. Went for a swim and the pool's literally like behind this wall. You see here there's like a little pool and we thought it would be cold so we went for a swim and it wasn't. It was actually really pleasant. We're about to go for a walk down the beach that away because there's like a little point there where Dad's been told he can go with his fishing rod and go fish. I think the sunset's about 5.40 and I need to go see the manager guy here about flying my drone because I want to do that at either oh, sunrise and sunset ideally one of the mornings and nights we're here. Yeah, because you guys know if you've been around my channel. Well, you guys probably won't know. Last time I was in Fiji, I had 300 subs, and that was in October last year. But every time I come to Fiji, I vlog, and then I make the travel video as well, like a travel diary. So we're getting both of those this trip. I just don't know how I'm gonna do the vlogs, because when I came in July last year, I vlogged every single day as an individual video, and that was a mess. That was, that was intense. And then last time I came, I split the 12 days into four parts. And this time, I don't know what I'm gonna do supposed to be a video coming up on Saturday that isn't gonna happen because I haven't prepared a video for that and I just need like a bit of a break because I've been stressed to the max recently so and every time we come like into the room we have to wash our feet in this foot bath and this water was clear when we got here like a few hours ago but we have to do that and dry it on this mat which is already saturated 5 36 p.m. we've only now got to go for a walk so earlier we went when I said we were going for a walk we went and down to the office we'd hand in some paperwork and then looked at the like activity schedule so I think one morning we might go do yoga Sage and I but don't hold me to that because I said last year we we're gonna go on this inflatable thing at the resort we were at and that never happened so don't be disappointed if it doesn't but now we're walking and the sunset kind of happening mum and dad are there and we're walking down to the point down here, Dad's was fishing around, we're gonna go see what we can find. But yeah, it's just so lovely and peaceful and the sun sets in like five-ish minutes and it's just so nice and warm. Like if I was in New Zealand right now, it would be around, I don't know, 11-ish degrees probably. But here, it's just so nice. I'm literally just walking around in this dress with my togs on underneath. The water is, I don't know, moderately chilly, but I can't really say that because I mean, compared to like a New Zealand beach right now, it's very pleasant. Is this, is this what you call gold now? I feel like, yeah, yeah. You know, the funny thing is, to be honest with you guys, I wasn't gonna vlog this trip just because I was that stressed out and worried about even coming here because that's how I think. But I'm so glad that I am because I just, I love vlogging like this when it's not like, you know, a school vlog. It's, it's just something different for you guys and for myself. Absolutely beautiful. Where are you, mum? Dad's oh, catching some fish. Yeah, I was just showing you in the vlog. Oh um, do you see this? Yeah, it's huge. It's <laughs> fast. Far are you, speedy? Oh yeah, if you guys have been around since I had 300 subs and were here for my Fiji vlogs last year, you may remember that I had an eye infection which started in, I don't know which eye it was, and then spread to both and then spread to my whole entire face. If I can find a photo, I'll put it in for you guys, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see what I mean. Monday at school, I think, I don't know whether something got in my eye or whatever, but I had like this, it felt like there was an eyelash under my eyelid, and so I went to the school nurse and washed it out and it was still sore, so I went back like a couple of hours later, she's like, oh you have a sty in your eye, and I was like, that's cool. After school, I like, told mum here yeah, what happened, and she's like, okay, we're taking to the optometrist, so we went there. They didn't really know what's up with it, eh? Did they think it got irritated? Yeah, he thinks whatever was in it, and it got out. Yeah, so there's something in it and it got out but irritated under the eyelid. So it's, it feels like there's an eyelash still stuck in there and we've washed out with so much like saline and stuff. It's ridiculous. 
but it still is like kind of sore like every time I blink but yeah the sun just dropped below the horizon which means it's nearly dinner time we are about to go to dinner but I'm gonna give you guys an outfit of the night because I love this outfit so this top is from Glassons and I got it when I was in Palmerston North so probably still in stores skirt is from sports girl i got it on sale last year so don't know if they still have it shoes are from the iconic and they are osper do you want to come where's your outfit from um i'm not sure where this is from and that's it that's all I'm wait doing. is it a dress or a skirt yeah, it's top a dress. my bra's from cotton on that's all i know <laughs> and then of course i've got my sachi watch on I got sent this watch by Saatchi, which is insane. It's like my first like brand deal as such. And I'm not being paid to say this to you guys right now, but it's genuinely such like a good watch. And the meaning behind it is insanely cool. $10 for every sale. Gets donated to the Soy Dog Foundation in Thailand to help save a dog's life. And if you guys want a discount on a watch like mine, I've got the toasted caramel one. So it's like rose gold with a leather brown strap. You can use my code EMMA15, no spaces, for $15 off your order. Do you know how cool I feel saying that? <laughs> and it'll be linked down in the description. I'm not, again, not getting paid to say this, this video is not sponsored, but I want you guys to know that these are very cool watches with a very cool meaning behind them. So. Let's go get some food. They're chicken rolls. That's for you, sir. Wow, wow, wee wow. <laughs> we're at a quiz night now at the resort and we're called the Anzac. <laughs> Anzacs made it to the elimination round, guys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the boys are coming second, guys. We failed. <laughs> yeah, we had to name the stops the boat stops on to get from the mainland to here, and the 29 ounces we only got four. That's <laughs> because we didn't come by boat. Yeah, we didn't come by boat, obviously, we were just slow. But I think I'm gonna close up the vlog for today right here. Oh, it's quite late 9 37. Okay. Good night, team. See you in the morning. Good morning vlog, day two in Fiji. We had a bit of a sleep in, we're going to eat breakfast now, it's quarter to ten. And you see it's a very nice day and I am very hungry so let's go get some breakfast. Okay vlog update, breakfast is done and it is 11.06am. I'm heading back to the room now because I need to go check the GoPro on charge because I want to go for a swim shortly. But we've just been down, we're about to do some bracelet weaving and crazy thing is we're sitting there talking to this lady and turns out they're from the same town as us and I was like whoa weaving is complete I made this one here sage that show your bracelet she made oh, that one we're gonna go back to the room and grab some water and I think we're gonna go for a swim right sage and I going for a swim guys let's say goodbye to the straight here for the next what 11 10 days or so Oh yeah, also summers, yeah, just a one piece with like an open back from Topanga yet again. Not gonna take the GoPro, but I'll catch you guys after the swim. Time for some lunch. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, someone said it. And Sage and I went for a quick dip in the pool and all these little kids were in there. As soon as we jumped in, they all just like evaporated kind of. But yeah, we, I've still got my togs on and I just chucked a skirt and other tops so and go for lunch. And oh, smells so good it's like a barbecue thing it smells amazing so lunch has happened and it's two o'clock now but we're kind of just chilling out and eating our food digest because we're going to go for a snorkel very shortly but i'm just going to lay out in the hammock for a bit and do some editing of yesterday's vlog 3 36 pm and we're going for a snorkel sage braided my hair down for me and i've got the gopro in the dome that's the deal so let's switch over to the gopro and i'll see you guys in a second And just like that, we're back from snorkeling. It's now 20 to 6. And the sun is actually about to set, so I might go take some photos and things. Yeah, the snorkeling was good. I didn't go out for as long as everyone else, just because I personally don't like snorkeling, and my feet were getting sore. And I hate, like, the restriction on your breathing from having the snorkel. We came back and had a shower, because our shower here, obviously, just on the room tour, is, like, outside. And that, uh, that still blows my mind. That is, like, my favourite thing about this place. Like, I don't know, it's stupid, but... That's that. And I actually posted a photo from earlier today 
in that shower. But if you don't follow my Instagram, then go check that out. Dinner will again be around a similar time tonight, so probably in about an hour and a half or so. So I'm just gonna chill out, and yeah, I'm actually so tired. Like, this, it's, this is gonna sound so stupid, but doing nothing and being in the sun is very tiring. Sunset was absolutely beautiful, but now we're going to look at the moon because Greg is an astronomer and an astrophotographer, and there is a planet right, like the moon is like a new moon, and there's a planet right there, it's either Mars or Mercury. So we're gonna go give it a squiz. So you've got the moon, and you can't see Mars, it's like up there, there's Mercury up there a bit further. So it is very soon to be dinner time, and yesterday at the airport, I branched out and I bought myself some benefit like it was it's called the three brow stars this one so it comes with the gimme brow plus goof brow brow goof goof proof brow pencil and the cabral so that's like the one for outlining filling and like the eyebrow mascara type thing and i know this probably sounds stupid because i don't wear makeup so i don't know what i'm talking about yeah i'm gonna give it a go i got it in the shade warm light brown do i know what i'm doing <laughs> No, but you know what you guys are here for the ride. So am I supposed to use all of these at one stage or do I just use one? I don't know. I feel like you're only meant to use oh Oh man, this is gonna go bad Does that even do anything? I think it darkened it maybe a little bit. Did it just get like all yeah. under here? I'm like getting this absolutely everywhere. People who are like actually know how to wear makeup right now are screaming at me No, I still have two slugs on my forehead do you remember that first time I used that brow pencil he pulled back from Australia for me? And I filled them in, but I like outlined them first. And I made them like three times thicker than they really <laughs> were. If I can find that photo, guys, I'll insert it for you. Right, well, that is my review of the Benefit Brow Kit. Would recommend, especially if you know how to do your brows and wear makeup. I feel like it would be really good. But since I don't know what I'm doing, can't really comment. Thank you for your time. See you at dinner. This is the menu, so I'm gonna get the eggplant and the chicken and the chocolate tart. Okay, we're gonna race our crab. It's called Bodie McBoatface. Man, we should be number eight. Buddy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We just got got ten dollars off our bar tab. Yeah, the girls, yeah, the boys. Never mind, there's a round two. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on, twelve. Get up, 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 get up. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Come on, twelve. Come on. No! No! Come on, twelve. Come on. In the third place, come in the third place, Crab number 12. Can we give a big round of applause to Crab number 12? We crossed the line first, I have video evidence of it. I've just been sitting here for like the last hour or so since we got back from the crab race. Finishing editing yesterday's video. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be coming out in a few days' time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below because we love that. And socials are always linked down below as well as my equipment. And you guys are absolutely incredible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. It's gonna be until I lose track. I'm like, wait, which day is it today? Hey Siri, what's the time? Yeah, nah, Siri doesn't understand me, so it makes sense. Golden hour. <laughs> like, ties up. Oh, I just untied it. Oh, whoa. Oh. 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 Doors on a slam, doors on a slam, doors on a slam.